Hello everyone. Welcome to anatomytomedicine.com. If you are a medical student preparing for medical school exams or if you are preparing for USMLE, MRCP or any medical licensing exam across the world, you have reached the right place, anatomytomedicine.com. If you are a medical school authority or uh, a medical university authority who want to give the best online video lectures to your medical students. Yes, you have reached the right place, anatomytomedicine.com. Anatomytomedicine.com is the world's largest online medical video lecture library. It has got around 3000 medical topics covering around 25 subjects in the medical school spanning over 1200 hours of video lectures are all made available in the online video library. Anatomytomedicine.com facilitates the preparation of every medical student for his board exams, USMLE preparation, concept oriented lectures and in the problem based learning models and uh, the lectures are accessible, the best part, on the desktop, the laptop, Macbook, iPad, Android, even smartphone, the medical lectures are all accessible, the video lectures. It helps the students to prepare for their medical school exams on any device, anytime, anywhere on the globe, which is a great advantage of uh, anatomytomedicine.com. If you want to try us free you can go to this icon, try us free, you can click on that and you have the garden variety of lectures from the internal medicine and obstetrics, gynecology, surgery, any subject you name it. You have all the sample video lectures which are available which you can always access. Now, if we talk about the video library, the video library is having all the lectures of this 1200 hours of video lecture library organized in 25 subjects anatomy, neuroanatomy, physiology, biochemistry, microbiology, pharmacology, pathology and if you take internal medicine, cardiology, neurology, hematology, endocrinology, nephrology, fluids, pulmonology, rheumatology, similarly surgery, gynecology, obstetrics, pediatrics, orthopedics, otolaryngology, ophthalmology, psychiatry, anesthesia, dermatology, community medicine, forensic medicine. The entire medical video library has got the lectures covering all these subjects which are important for the undergraduate medical school and also for the university licensing exams. Now you need to sign in as a registered user and uh, once you are subscribed with us then you have an access to the entire video library. So once you use your user ID and uh, password, then you have all the lectures which are available here. Now you click on the video library. Now in the video library, I'll give you an example. For example, you are a first year medical student and uh, you are having a lecture on uh, median nerve or you are dissecting median nerve. Uh, or the brachial plexus on the day. So you want to go to the class prepared about median nerve. Then you come to the upper limb and you have all the lectures on the upper limb and uh, here you are having the median nerve. So you click on the median nerve, you are having a video lecture on the median nerve which is available for you and median nerve is called laborer's nerve. Ulnar nerve is called musician's nerve. It's called musician's nerve, ulnar nerve because for the fine movements of the hand you require ulnar nerve and for the coarse movements of the hands you require median nerve. So the once you click the high yielding topic is median nerve. <coughs> so if you go to the median nerve lecture, then uh, you can uh, you can have a revision. In about 12 minutes you are ready about what the median nerve innovates and the entire anatomy of the median nerve. Now, if you are going to an orthopedics posting, you are preparing the subject of orthopedics. 
In the orthopedics, once more, the median nerve injury is a very, very important topic. So you are having a case discussion on median nerve injury. Go to the orthopedics and uh, in the orthopedics, once more, you have a discussion on the brachial plexus injuries. As a part of that, you have the median nerve. The best part is you can use the simple browser, browser search and type median and that will take you to the nerve injury. There is a median nerve injury lecture which is available. So when you are attending the case discussion on the median nerve injury, already you are in your final year of medical school. You have forgotten long back what is the median nerve's anatomy. So you can go to the anatomy part of the video library and can review the median nerve anatomy and then you can come to the orthopedic section and then can be able to review the nerve injury part of the median nerve lecture and uh, that makes you completely confident about uh, how to approach a case of uh, the median nerve injury in the ward. I'll give you one more example. For example, you have congestive heart failure case in general medicine. So congestive heart failure is a topic that you have in internal medicine. So you need to go to cardiology, internal medicine in the video library. And in the cardiology, in internal medicine, you have the lectures on arrhythmias, the cardiovascular examination, and valvular heart disease. Then you have the lectures on congenital heart disease, and you have the lectures on heart failure, etc. So you come to the heart failure, congestive heart failure, you have version 5, version 4, version 3, version 1, different versions of the same topic heart failure being discussed in different occasions by different teachers. So you can choose whichever the lecture on heart failure you want. And now you have the heart failure lecture which is available, congestive heart failure. So it is a lecture spanning around 42 minutes on congestive heart failure. But what is the problem to review congestive heart failure? as a final medical, final year medical student. Typically, you have forgotten what is the cardiac cycle which you studied in physiology in first year medical school. So that's the reason you want to revise the congestive heart failure perspective from physiology in the first year, that is a cardiac cycle. You want to go to pharmacology and study about the various drugs used in congestive heart failure. And then you want to come to the general medicine lecture, internal medicine lecture, on congestive heart uh, failure. So you go to the video library, it's very easy, very simple. You need not run through the physiology textbook. You can simply come to physiology, click on physiology. And uh, now you know very well. Uh, you can use the simple browser search and can go to um, cardiac cycle, cardiac cycle. Uh, and here you are having a lecture on cardiac cycle. So you go to cardiac cycle and you click on the lecture cardiac cycle. And that opens you the lecture on cardiac cycle. And you review in about 19 minutes. You have the entire cardiac cycle which has been explained. So that, that makes you to understand the topic of congestive heart failure in a better perspective. So in about 20 minutes you are ready with the cardiac cycle, all basics of the cardiac cycle. Now you want to go to the pharmacology and you want to know what is digitalis, what are the various drugs which are used. So go to the pharmacology, click on the pharmacology. Then you have the lectures of the drugs which are used in the pharmacology. So for example, you want to study about digitalis. Now here that takes you to digitalis. You click on the digitalis. Now you are having a pharmacology lecture on the digitalis. So in about 21 minutes you can finish your entire basics about cardiac glycosides. So once you understood how the cardiac glycosides are acting, uh, you can uh, uh, be more confident in facing the congestive heart failure lecture. Then you go examine the patient of congestive heart failure in the ward rounds and now you are very sure about the topic, how to manage a case of congestive heart failure. I'll give you another classical example 
If you take pediatrics, pediatrics. So where is the pediatrics? Yes. In the video library, you are having pediatrics. Examining a low birth weight baby, examining the developmental milestones is a very, very common lecture in uh, very common topic, medical topic in pediatrics. So once you come to the relevant topic in pediatrics, you can uh, review the uh, developmental milestones, when the various reflexes will come, etc., etc., in uh, pediatrics. And uh, that gives you a confidence on uh, how to approach a small baby in the ward. So all these lectures are delivered in uh, a real classroom where a lot of students like you are sitting in the classroom. So once you have, and uh, one more important feature is you can simply click on the enlarged view and you can have a complete couch view where you can see on a bigger way the lecture on uh, any lecture, any medical lecture in this online video library. So once you see the various babies at appropriate ages, the developmental milestones, you understand the pediatrics much, much better. Similarly, you want to go, you have a jaundiced baby and uh, the topic of discussion that you are preparing, let's say, is biliary atresia. You go to biliary atresia lecture. So once you go to the biliary atresia, you have got um, uh, a complete description of uh, the pathology, uh, which is underlying the biliary atresia, how to differentiate different types of uh, uh, jaundice in a newborn baby, what is the difference between physiological jaundice and pathological jaundice, etc., etc. So these are all the lectures which are being recorded when delivered in a live classroom so that uh, it is as good that you are the part of uh, a live classroom instead of... Uh, um, instead of a uh, anonymous studio location, uh, instead of that, you have got a dynamically dis discussed, debated, delivered live lectures which are available totally around 1200 hours of duration. Then, before I uh, conclude, I cannot forget about a very, very important topic an example of how you can use this online video library. To integrate into your medical school preparation. Parkinsonism is a very very common topic in the medical school. A very high yield topic when you take a USMLE or any licensing exam. So you want to review uh, the topic of uh, uh, Parkinsonism. Uh, I need to go to the neurology. So once you go to the neurology in that you have the Parkinsonism topic. You have got a discussion, a complete discussion of the video lecture on the topic of Parkinsonism in internal medicine. Now, let me take you uh, to Parkinson's disease, Parkinsonism. So once you click on the Parkinson's disease lecture, you have the Parkinson's disease lecture video, which is available for you. Now, um, um, in the Parkinson's disease, totally it is around 21 minutes. All the basics, what is a pill rolling tremor of Parkinsonism? What are the extra pyramidal lesions? What are the clinical presenting features of the Parkinsonism, etc. They're all available in the lecture. But before you go to Parkinsonism in internal medicine, you need to understand basal ganglia. You want to revise at least once basal ganglia. In a normal scenario, you need to run to the physiology textbook, open it and then identify the topic and uh, review. But in this case, it is really not required. You simply go to video library, you know about the basal ganglia physiology is the one which is discussed in physiology. In physiology, you have a lot of lectures. Out of that, you need to locate where is the basal ganglia. Very simple, on the browser, on the simple browser search, you type basal ganglia. It takes you to basal ganglia. You click on basal ganglia. Now you have the basal ganglia physiology. 
the lecture on basal ganglia physiology which is available. It runs totally around 12 minutes. Within 12 minutes you become an expert about what are the different basal ganglia, what are the excitatory, what are the inhibitory pathways which are involved in the neurochemistry of uh, the basal ganglia and why the dopamine depletion is leading to Parkinsonism you understood completely. Now this is not enough. Before you go to internal medicine, Parkinsonism lecture, you wanted to revise Parkinsonism drugs in pharmacology. So you click on pharmacology, you got various lectures, pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics, autonomic nervous system drugs, cardiovascular system drugs, asthma drugs, antibiotic drugs, the lectures on antiparasitics, antifungals, antivirals, antimycobacterial, antidepressants, antiepileptics. Now you are having Parkinsonism drugs. You click on the lecture on Parkinsonism drugs and that will give you a comprehensive review on Parkinsonism drugs. So as I told you, these are all the lectures which have been uh, recorded in a live classroom. So with the live students in the classroom, and uh, you can be able to revise how the levodopa is working, how the carbidopa is helping it to work, and why you should not give pyridoxin in a patient taking levodopa. So many concepts about the Parkinsonism. All those concepts have been reviewed. And now, once you are sure about basal ganglia physiology, if you are sure about uh, the pharmacology of the Parkinsonism drugs, you are completely ready to understand what is the Parkinsonism in the internal medicine. And uh, uh, that is all about the medical education. A easy way of learning, a playful way of learning, a comprehensive way of learning that makes you too confident to go to the medical school or any medical licensing exam across the country. So don't forget, anatomytomedicine.com is your friend who will help you. And it is uh, very, very affordable. Just for about 199 USD, a small investment, you are able to get a one year of access to the entire 1200 hours of online video library, um, which is uh, a truly affordable price across the world, whichever the country that you belong to. So I welcome you all to this revolution in medical education, anatomy to medicine.com. Thank you.